Honestly, if I was a man, I would only date single mothers or people to, or mothers, period. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Let me get an explanation to that. I feel like motherhood changed me so much. And although I'm married, I'm not single. And I tell you, my, my, a lot of stuff about me changed. I value myself more. I value my time more. I don't really give my time and my energy to shit that just don't, that don't matter, don't equate to nothing. So if I was a man, especially if I was a man that was older in age a little bit, a single mom, mom, they know how to get shit done. They, they literally, they, they really be like the, the grade A people for real, for real. Right. Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Look, I'm not sitting here saying everything she said wasn't true, but she just left a lot of stuff out. Like she said, with a single mother, you get a woman who values her time a little bit more. She's a little more disciplined. Well, that normally comes with age. So as a woman reach her late 20s and her 30s and 40s, she starts to do that stuff anyway. She values her time more. She don't waste as much time on situations and dudes like she did in her 20s. And the discipline part normally happens because of life. She just goes through life experiences. So I disagree that you have to have a child to do that. Another thing is she left out all the negative stuff, like dealing with the baby father, taking care of a kid, but you can't discipline them, taking care of them all year and you can't even put them on your taxes. In a lot of situations, a man can put all he has into a child and that child will still value his biological father over the man who was there. So she left out a lot of that stuff. Look, dating a single mother will work for some men, but don't sit there and tell me like that's a good move for every man. Well, I just want to say our women is not the same. All of us don't want what we can get out of you. All of us don't want your money. All of us don't want what you can give. Some of us genuinely want to be happy. Some of us genuinely want to have a loving, monogamous relationship. Some of us want loyalty. Listen, I take a man that's trying to get on his feet, that's working, that's loyal. Then before I take a that got it already. Because if a nigga got it already, to me, they feel like they can do what the f they want to do. Or they feel like they can handle you any kind of way. No. I really take that lawyer, motherfucker. You might be my husband. I'm not going to miss out on my blessings because he ain't got what that man got. That's just me. Again, in a relationship, there's a captain and a co-captain. I'm cool. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with bringing my man his food. I'm cool with catering to my man. I'm cool with massaging my man back. I'm cool with buying my man shit. I'm cool with loving on my man. In tune, I want the same thing. I'm not a city girl at all. I'm a woman that work outside the house. If we gon' if we together, we going in a hundred, a hundred. If you get off before me, baby, take the food out. Put it on. I'ma come home and cook it. If I get off before you, the food gonna be cooked. It's teamwork all the way. That's just what I believe in. Some of us genuinely want a healthy relationship. I'm cool with compromise. I'm cool with expressing my feelings i'm cool with all that i'm cool with you expressing your feelings and trying to get trying to get you what you want this was refreshing to listen to because i know that there are women out there like this i do social media will have you thinking that there isn't but there are women out there who who got their head on straight they want something normal they're not looking for this extravagant lifestyle when you're on private planes and going out to $800 dinners every night. There are women out there who just want to share their life with a man. That's it, it's that simple. They wanna share their life with a man. If that means she has to pay half the bills and, and split the chores with them, she's cool. If that means he takes care of all the bills and she takes care of the home, that's cool. But there are women out there who are genuinely looking for a man to share their life with and we have to know that fellas it is so easy to get caught up in these women on social media but that isn't real life those women do not represent all the women in the world if we only looked at the women on social media every man should just grab his passport and get the hell out of here i know there's men out there who believe that but i don't think so i think it's good for you if that's what you want to do but i believe if you put the work in, pay attention, you can find you a good woman right here in the United States. I know I'm gonna get a lot of people in the comments who disagree with that. That's just my belief, because I do think there's more women like this one out there. They want what you want. They're not looking for all the other stuff. So fellas, just keep your head up. Don't buy into the hype that every woman out here is looking to take your money or just wanna use and abuse you. There are women out there who just want a good, healthy relationship, and this is an example of one of them. And for all the men out there who will say there are no good women left in America, you sound just like the women who say there are no good men left in America. I'm just saying.
Why do guys say that they really prefer this like plain Jane, natural looking girl, whatever, but then you'll go down his following list, every single girl he's following is like BBL, lip fillers, like, you know, influencer type baddie girls. Explain that to me. Listen, let me tell you something, America. I don't think you heard me the first time. I'm going to try to make this real simple. A lot of you women scream you hate drama. You don't want any drama. You just want a normal, quiet relationship. This is what a lot of you women say. But if I go on your TV watch list, it's filled with housewife shows. It's filled with love and hip hop. It's filled with all the shows that bring drama. So for you, you like to see the drama, you like to watch the drama, but you don't want the drama. The same way we are with these women. Yes, we'll look at all these women all day. Yes, we'll sleep with these women all day, but that doesn't mean we actually want them in our homes as our wives. That is all we're saying. I really hope this makes sense because it's really that simple. And for some reason, you women can't get it. We will always like these women, but it doesn't mean we actually want these women as our wives. That is what it means. My son said he was at school. Somebody said, that's why you got on ankle socks and sweatpants. That was the third person that said something to him in three days. <laughs> I say, man, what's wrong with ankle socks? He said, dad, I don't know. <laughs> I called my youngest son downstairs because I know I done washed some ankle socks. I know I have. So I say, man, you wear ankle socks? He say, he say, I ain't had ankle socks on since I was a little kid. I'm like, since you was a little kid, what is wrong with me? Am I that old? I said, what's wrong with ankle socks? He said, they, they immature. Are you kidding me? I got ankle socks on right now. He was like this. You trying to say something to me? No, I ain't saying nothing. Boy, I need some help. I can't keep up with this stuff. What's wrong with ankle socks? What's wrong with them? He say ankle socks is ankle socks is like tidy whities. Are you kidding me? Ankle socks are like tidy whities. I'm a loser. I gotta throw all my ankle socks in the trash. Man, I am just as confused as this dude. When did ankle socks become bad? That's all I know. I don't even wear full socks. All I wear is ankle socks. I, I have no idea when this when this went out the window. But this is the thing about me. I'm old and I don't care. I'm not changing that. Care what these little young kids are doing. We need to set the tone, man. I'm not gonna stop wearing ankle socks because some teeny bopper said so. I'm gonna keep wearing my ankle socks. Call me what you want, okay? They are gonna be looking at me like, look at this old fool over here with them ankle socks on. Call me what you want, kid. But what I look like following one of these croc wearing, sweater in the summertime with gym shorts wearing, tight pants wearing, pants sagging, feet dragging, acne having, AirPod wearing, mumble rap listening, forehead glistening, wet behind the ears, snot nose having teeny boppers. It ain't gonna happen. But I say all that just to say this. The kids. The kids? Yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.